Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I thought I'd give you another little update here. Yesterday I was all, um, really excited that she ate. Uh, she was eating. And then, I was holding her and, um, you know, just playing with her a little bit, letting her walk all over my hands and stuff. And then, um, her mouth opened. She started, um, she started, um, but, um, hissing, she started hissing a little bit, and you know, just making that weird noise, so I put her back in her enclosure, she regurgitated everything she ate, she ate three mealworms yesterday, and I thought that was pretty good, but she ended up just throwing them up, and um, I did, just before that, I did give her what they call a bath, um, I put her in warm water, just, you know, to help. Because I don't think she's been going to the bathroom. I'm not sure. Um, I did clean out half of her tank the other day. Um, the other half I'll probably clean out today. But, um... So I probably won't be doing that anymore. Um, it might have been the bath that did that. Because she's never done that before. And I, um... I just... I was looking around and I heard it's pretty good to do. So I tried it and that's what happened. So I'm just giving you my experience on... Um, bathing the gecko, um, just because of the warm, the warm water and the helps with their digestion. But honestly, I think the warm, the warmth in the cage or in the enclosure. I don't like calling it a cage, by the way. Uh, I just seems like you know. I don't know. I just don't like the word cage. But anyways, uh, the warmth in her enclosure um, should be good enough. I mean. Another reason why I use sand, and a lot of people are probably going to disagree, but um, the reason, the biggest reason why I use sand is because it's a good heat distributor, so um, it will distribute heat throughout the uh, the rest of the enclosure. So um, a lot of people say not to use sand, I know, but um, I do anyways. It's just a preference. So um, yeah. And I think the warmth in her enclosure should be good enough for her di digestion. So I probably won't be doing that anymore. I did um, fill it up only a little bit up to um, just to her belly. And she didn't really, she didn't like it at all. And um, I was kind of expecting she wouldn't at first. Um, so I just kind of um, took her out, uh, dried her up a little bit. She hissed after I took her out and was starting to dry. I just kind of dabbed up. Uh, a towel on her she started to uh to hiss a little bit she didn't like that very much so um <clears throat> so just to um eliminate any problems i probably won't be doing that anymore um i actually didn't know it was a common thing i've never even heard of it i tried it um but yeah bad experience so um she's actually eating again she she is continuing to eat she seems fine um, I don't think anything's seriously wrong, but, um, yeah, that was just my little, uh, experience I had with bathing my gecko, which will probably never happen again. So, uh, and you know what, I probably did something wrong, uh, I don't know, knowing me and, uh, you know, all those comments I might get, oh, you did something wrong, you know, fag, or whatever, but, uh, just letting you know my experience, so, uh, thanks for watching, until next time, I'll see you guys.